All right, the jet GE-7 um, series section 9 diesel engine introduction crank checks crankcase oil level of the crankcase inspector cover the crankcase strain of the engine governor oil level of the cooling water level of the cooling water analysis move oil analysis um, overspeed governor output oil pressure overspeed governor trip set overspeed D rater length the engine oil governor low oil temperature trip temp pressure engine governor water trip pressure engine speed differential pressure cost loop oil filter differential pressure cost loop oil filter Lube oil cooler, determining lube oil cooler condition, crankcase pressure, crankcase pressure switch, cylinder inlet port, crankshaft and play and play, gear trains, power driven gear, coupling, fuel injection or equipment, fuel oil linkage, leaks, noises, exhaust gas, adjustment, fuel pump rack setting, fuel pump rack timing, fillet taps, clearance, um, lube oil relief, lube oil relief valve, lube oil relief, fuel oil relief valve, fuel oil regulating valve replacements, fuel oil filter, fuel oil strainer. Loop oil filter, fuel injector nozzle, fuel injection pump, water pump, lubricating oil pump, power assembly, removal of the power assembly, installation, piston, rings, piston, camshaft, section bearings, connection rod bearing, and thrust collars, connection rod bearings, crosshead guides, rubber bonded pump and driver, coupling, overspeed rater, rater, D rater link, case pressure switch, overspeed governor, engine control, governor, exhaust manifold, multiple pipe, exhaust manifold, single pipe, turbochargers. Our figure 11-2 shows the crankcase dipstick, dipstick, wiping rag, fuel, full mark, safe operating range, and the low marking introduction. The section covers the section cover the procedure of the required to serve with the diesel engine periodic inspection also cover the replacement procedure that may be required with the following performance of the necessary checks and adjustment of the engine system components. Check crankcase oil when the engine uh, running at the idle speed remove the dipstick for the gear 11 one uh, sorry 9 one wipe off the clean stick and inspect the dipstick with the depth of the, the, the full quickly remove the read the indication shown below the fuel and low marks on the dipstick figure 9 2. If the oil if the oil level is oil at low add oil to the fuel pipe um, to add oil to the fill pipe Figure 11, figure 9, 3, unit level is in the air at near or fill the mark of the dipstick replaced to secure the fill cap. Figure 9, 3, loop oil fill. The forward end of the cover of the fill pipe and then the fill cap of the water pump. Um, figure 11, uh, figure 9, 4, sorry, got that, got that, get it out of my head. Figure 9, um, figure 9, 4, crank inspection cover, inspection cover, the rubber gasket, spring latch assembly, and the um, bolt stop, the nut, and new design, old design, o-ring under the washer rivet handle. Caution not fill above the fill full mark with this may cover the crankcase overpressure or COP switch operation. Crankcase inspection cover the after the engine run a long time period with the before the ending for the crankcase figure 9, 4 with that has been removed. Check the whole side of the engine mainframe at each for the cover location. Check the lube oil leakage in the following areas. Pass, pass, pass the gasket with the seals over the cover of the safe of the mainframe to around the latch sweat and shaft with where the pass is outward through the cover of the leakage. Either, either through should be correct with immediately renewing the defective gas gets the O rings. Or your crankcase strainer. Engine shut down the removal of the appropriate crankcase inspection cover. The, well, we'll work through the convenient opening for the removal of the strainer cover. The figure 9, 5, and 9, 6, which is identical to the cover that the fit side of the mainframe. Lift out of the strainer basket. Examine the inside of the basket. Analyze the debris collected within the basket. Clean the basket from the re before reinstalling. Check the cover in the gasket o ring around the latch shaft. And it's not in good condition. Renew a note the leakage of either the gas either leakage at the either the gasket or the O ring together lube oil lube, low lube oil level the will cause the low lube, low oil shutdown. Figure nine five engine oil panel with the strainer completely assembled. The engine governor oil level of the engine running at idle speed. Check with the oil level of the cycle left figure nine seven. The correct level at the site below the line with the cycle left level above the line with excess of the oil will spill out over the through out through the vent of the top of the site plug with the engine shut down. Oil level is low. Add clean SA ten thirty and ten W thirty with the governor oil with the fill with the cap at the top of the governor cover fill with the engine running idle speed until the oil level of the site gas is at the line in site glass. Cooling water level check with the cooling water level. The engine has been idle for at least 10 minutes. So this will show the water of the drain for the radiator back to the storage tank. Correct the water level between the full and idle and lowered idle marks. Sighting of the glass figure 9, 8, and 8, and figure 8, 9, 8, and 9, 9. So figure 9, 6 for the strain with the basket removed. Figure 9, 7 the governor oil site glass. And the if the cooling with the low at the idle with the mark of the head was if the cover of the level, the only, only one of the following methods through the water fill pipe with the 9 9. Test the hose end with the water supply with the full pipe connection. Turn on the water supply. Pull down the spring loaded on the spring loaded handle on the water fill valve. With hold the handle down until the water is at the full and it will mark slowly rate the spring loaded at, handle to its normal vertical position. Figure 9 8, cooling water level gauge, water tank right side, vent valve with a pressure gap, water level sight glass, low, low at idle mark, full at idle mark. 
Our figure 99 cooling water tank um, water fill for the drain, water vent from the top of the vent, vent valve pressure um, pressure cap, water site glass water fill, water right tank right side low oil pro, 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 test points, water fill pipe, the loop oil filter, water pump, water drain valve. Shut off the water pipe, shut off the water supply, step in the room with the water supply with the hose with the connection through the fill pipe with the cover with the pressure cap, the figure 98 and 9899. Pull the vent valve holding the handle down toward the 60 second of the vent pressure with the system with the vent valve handle with the still hand down down with the remove the pressure cap at the water through the fill pipe at the, until the level is at the full idle mark for in place. The pressure cap allows the vent valve and the handle to return the normal horizontal position. Cooling water analysis takes sample of the cooling water from the sample of the valve with the figure 910. Have simply analyzed with the laboratory. To, um, Laboratory and take appropriate um, figure 910 shows the sampling valves. Take appropriate action um, based on the analysis of this that change with the cooling water, add treatment to fill in, find corrective exhaust, etc. If the treatment compound is required, and if add it through and then fill with the pipe cover to the pressure cap of the figure 99 and 998 and 99 in the following manner. Figure 910 shows the sampling valves, the loop oil filter, loop oil sampling valve, um, cooling water sample valve, and the water pump. Check um check the water level in the cycle for the idle engine. Do not remove the pressure cap if, if the level is at full idle mark. Drain it down until the level is at full idle mark. Um, pull the vent valve handle down toward the holes of the 60 second of the vent pressure from the system. Remove the pressure cap that added the required amount of the treatment compound. Replace the pressure cap with the engine idle. Check the water level at full idle mark. Lube oil analysis. Take some sample of the lube oil from the sample of the valve with the 910 with the sample of the analyte of the laboratory. Take the appropriate action based on the analysis. If the, if the change of the lube oil fine with the current cause of the dilution of the fuel oil and the water fine with the, any of the incorrect cause of the increase of the such metals, screw out copper, iron, chromium, and aluminum, etc. Figure 911, typical overspeed governor um, arrangement. Show that the, on the right fuel control leakage reset button, taco meter drive, governor oil, um, oil speed, gov, over, overspeed governor oil line, oil supply line with the governor, overspeed governor. And from the bottom right up, um, the oil drain line from the overspeed governor test point check, test point check pressure for the overspeed device, governor drive type side adjustment, overline overspeed D rater link. The overspeed governor output light output oil pressure for the engine shutdown remove the pipe plug with the zero to three hundred psi pressure gauge with the test point below the overspeed governor figure nine eleven with the cranking of the engine crank of the crack of the fitting on the oil line with the overspeed derailleur link with the lead all the air from the slime tighten the crack of the fitting with the crank of the engine and note that the output of the oil pressure on the test gauge pressure from the ninety five to one hundred sixty five to seventy five psi should be quickly developed and completely compressed for the overspeed derailleur link after the engine is running the output oil pressure should be between one hundred eighty to two hundred twenty um, PSI low, uh, port, low oil output oil pressure can be caused by the dirty shock of the regulating valve located with the oil uh, oil inlet portion over speed governor by excessive worn gears in the purport, pump proportion over speed governor remove the clean with the regulating valve and then reinstall with the, into the governor if this does not correct the low output with the oil pressure condition they will replace the over speed governor with a new rebuilt one well, gov uh, overspeed governor trip speed, but the trip speed is be best checked with the overspeed, but the governor set with the governor test stand, which is, when this is not possible, overspeed governor can be checked within the bound on the diesel engine. The trip speed is checked within the locomotive of the following manner. And so the direct reading on the accurately calibrated tachometer test for the standards SAE tachometer drive located on the forward side of the governor drive, the figure 911. With the engine running at the notch, eight, no low, the, uh, no low speed, the ply with the pry bar overspeed link with the override the governor in space and, and increase with the engine speed, private the pry bar on the head of the clamp bolt with the secure with the fuel link is the attached for the bottom of the link. Allow the pry bar to apply with the upper word force for the bottom of the oil inlet boss. Bo do not apply the force against the oil fitting of the, or the hose. The power pressure on the outer end of the pry bar will spray with the overspeed linking with the governor power piston will cover the fuel pump racks. Extend increased engine speed at the same time overspeed link with the free with extend with itself on the overspeed governor. <coughs> Three slowly, cautiously rate the engine speed to 1155 to plus or minus 10 um, crankshaft RPMs. Um, or 173, uh, 1738 plus or minus 15 tackle meter drive RPM. But the over, overspeed governor does not trip the speed with the specified uh, step three. Remove the pry bar with the B um, when the engine is still in the notch eight, no lose, no load speed. Back out with the uh, turn clockwise, counterclockwise, uh, other speed, overspeed with the trip set. Speed adjusting the screw with until the governor trip. The return the throttle handle to the idle restart the engine. Apply with the pry bar as outlined in step two. Slow, slowly rate the engine speed at the same time. Slowly turn slowly turn the trip speed adjusting screw inward and clockwise. Alternate turning alternate turn al, 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 alternate turning with the adjusting screw increase the speed until the correct tip of the speed is achieved. 
be keeping be keeping a close observation of um, promptly in the depressing of the idle speed um, the lower speed go over speed governor reset button after tripping the engine will over or ordinarily recover the continued operation without needing additional cranking Caution while checking the overspeed governor speed with never exceed 1200 crankshaft RPMs or 7 uh, 7 1, 1, drive RPMs exceeding with the speed cause serious damage for the engine and to the auxiliary equipment and mechanical device by the in, by the engine Figure 912, schematic diagram showing the testing equipment, checking load devices, pressure shutting down oil. Um, show the low, um, the engine governor, and then the low oil pressure shutdown device going into a pressure gauge of 0 to 150 PSI, and a bleed valve and a shutoff valve. Um, the, um, in between the test, at least the test equipment is bleed valve, shutoff valve, and the pressure gauge, and it's in between the low oil pressure system and the low oil bypass, and that goes to the and, and the governor drive. Um, in the line from the loop oil header. The oversprayed D rater link. The check the ensure of the air of the oil supply of the connectors are tight with the hose of the free link. The check the ensure of the link for the move the fully within a full open, full closed position from this full closed to fully open position that is accomplished starting running with the engine, then shutting down the engine, running with the engine, don't with the linking that is fully closed with observing the top edge of the indicator line with the lower groove on the outer casing of the figure eleven nine and this figure nine thirty four. Um, engine over governor low oil temperature tri oil trip pressure when the governor is best che checked with the governor test to stand with it to be checked with the the following manner note the engine speed may hunt during the following test with the hunting is not a reason for disqualifying engine governor install the test shut off, shut off valve with a 0 to 150 psi pressure gave and pressure bleed with the valve of the engine oil supply line with a connect to the low oil pressure device on a governor figure 912 the pressure bleed valve and the gauge must be connected must be connected to the line between the shut off valve with the governor with one side of the bleed valve open to the atmosphere to open the test shell the valve go if the bleed valve to start the engine allow the operate for the idle speed with the normal operating condition temperature that has been checked for run the engine to the notch eight speed then close the test valve the test shut off valve um, and slowly open the bleed valve when the oil pressure drop with the trip pressure with 45 point and a half to 46 and a half psi the engine governor relay EGR should be pick up the after 19 seconds of oil pressure light with the annunciator panel will come on when the oil pressure is located as a reduced to 2 to 3 psi below the trip saying the engine should start with reduced speed when the bleed valve is open with the further reduce of the pressure for the engine should the, um, further reduce the speed when the oil pressure reduces to about, um, about 4 psi with the engine should shut down the governor and shut down the hold relay and should be picked up with the, which will cause the light and to light and on the relay lifts that light on the engine control panel to come on Six five close the bleed valve and shut and open the shutoff valve. But after three minutes, the governor shut down hold relay. Um, reset the governor sh shut down holding relay. Note that the lights in the engine control panel, the relay go, should go off. If they do not go off, the indicate the governor has not yet been reset. Wait four minutes again. Reset the governor shut down hold relay. If the lights do not go off, then stay off and or and stay off. Check uh, change out the governor. All right, operating the reset switch and this annunciator panel with the cover of the annunciator panel to go off. The restart the engine iron operating idle speed. Cover the test shutoff valve with a slowly open the bleed valve with the trip pressure with the 714 psi. It's reef for the 40 after 45 seconds time of delay. And the speed should decrease the pressure and further reduce the valve. Four psi of the engine should shut down. The lights on the engine control panel with the governor shut down holding relay should come on. Figure 913 schematic drawing a schematic diagram showing the test equipment with the checking low water pressure shutdown device. All right, you have your engine governor with a low water pressure shutdown device traveling through the disconnecting plugs and cap both openings, line for the discharge water while the other end of the test from low pressure testing equipment is attached to the bleed valve, pressure gauge shutoff valve, and then to the in line from the inlet on the water header. Nine, repeat steps five and six and seven. Remove the test equipment and restore the original piping. Um, engine governor water trip pressure for the governor has be best check with the governor test and the check with the locomotive with the following manner. The engine speed made hunt during the following test hunt is not a reason for the disqualifying engine governor. Install the test um, shut off valve with the 0 to 30 psi grade pressure gauge with the mercury manometer with the pressure bleed valve with the engine water pressure line with the connect with the low water pressure device of the government on the governor figure 913 the disconnect the line with the water discharge with the header from the low water pressure device of the governor on the device plug on the cap plug or cap each side of the brake um, valve the same procedure outlining the engine governor low oil pre trip pressure of the section exception except you for the following value values of the water pressure. 
and notch eight governor trip with the engine governor relay with the pickup with the speed start with the drop and the after 19 second with the low water pressure light on the in and outseater pan will come on to 22 to 29 inches of the mercury inches will equal 11 to 15, 15 psi governor should must shut down the engine the governor shut down hold down relay should pick up the lights on the relay engine control panel come out with two inches of mercury which is equal to one psi at idle speed of the governor trip the after 45 seconds of the time the delay of the speed on drop the after another 19 seconds of the time to leave the light with the annunciator poem will come on 3 to 0.4 to 5.5 inches of the mercury which is equal to 2 psi the governor should shut down engine down the governor shuts and hold down relay should pick up the lights on the relay and engine control panel come on in 2 inches of the mercury which is equal to 1 psi are your engine speeds? The engine speeds are controlled by the engine compartment compa control compartment and control governor preferably with the check of the speed with the governor and the test van with the amount possible the governor check governor control governor can be checked with the mounted on the diesel engine the speed is checked with the in the locomotive in the following manual install the direct reading with the accurately calibrated tachometer attached with the same SA Society of American Engineers tachometer drive located on the forward side with the governor in 911 with the engine running with a normal operating temperature due to no loaded advance from the throttle on, throttle through the not all notch of the under the well and each of the notch Long enough for the engine speed to stabilize with the read speed with the tachometer. Note if the locomotive with the standard speed schedule to refer to the table 9 1 for the current value of the engine crank speed of the table is also equivalent to the tachometer drive with each of the throttle notch. Many of the locomotives have the special speed schedule to divide comparing the values given in 9 1, which found the, loco found the locomotive with the electrical schematic diagram. Special um, speed the schedule um, scheduled you to use the speed values given on the schematic diagram not used in the table 9-1. Be certain that the schematic diagrams apply, apply to the local one being checked. Our right, table nine one standard engine speed schedule is done with idle. Um, our engine cr not the idle and notches one through eight engine crankshaft RPMs and tachometer drive RPMs. Differential pressure across the low loop oil filter. When the engine shut down with the install with the 0 to 150 psi pressure gauge test point within the pipe within two, the outlet filter figures um, 10, 2, and 9, 9. Normal engine running the notch 8 with a loop with a low norm normal operating temperature of 200 to 210 degrees Fahrenheit, reading the pressure for the bolt gauge, some subtract the lower pressure from the high pressure gauge. Or so, so the drop of the low pressure for the high pressure to get the differential pressure for the drop and the pressure for the crop of the filter. The new filter elements in the filter differential pressure should not be, should be between 5 and 9 psi. Filter elements should be chained. The differential pressure exceeds 25 psi. Differential pressure across the lube oil cooler. When the engine shuts down, the install of the 0 to 155 pressure gauge from the test points in the pipe and then out with the, with the oil cooler. When the engine normal running the notch HP with the lube oil normal operating temperature of 200 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, reading the pressure on the both gauge, subtract the low pressure from the high pressure to get the differential pressure, the drop pressure, the graph of the cooler, and with the cooler, clean cooler with a differential pressure should be 15 to 21 psi. With the increase of the differential pressure, the indicative of the dirt sludge accumulated in the cooler and the preferred method. Preferred method of determining the cooler should be claimed to measure the performance of the curler seat of the determining lube oil cooler condition section. Determining lube oil cooler condition. To determine the lube oil cooler requires cleaning of the maximum stable temperature for the lube oil leaving the engine cooling water engine for the cooler may be accurately measured with the plot in the paragraph figure 914. Measurements applied with the shell be fall between the two curves of the cool clean cooler with the plotted measurement of fall above the upper and condemning limited curve. To obtain the maximum stable, stable temperature for the system of the cooling te cooler type of the engine must be operated with sufficient time and length of time of the full horsepower rating of the no time, time during the test should be temperate for the temperature of the lube oil leave the engine is permitted to exceed 220 degrees Fahrenheit. To perform the test and install the inaccurate 250 temperature gauge on one of each of the following points. Figure 9, 14, so the lube oil cooler performance grab temperature of the oil out of the engine from 150 to 220 degrees maximum permissible oil, oil temperature recommended cooler condemning limits. Cooler in the cooler in the cleaning condition. This is the average of the coolers used in the horsepower ratings. On the bottom, you have your um, temperature of the water, water in the oil cooler, and on the right, you see the left on the vertical. You see the temperature oil out of the engine. Figure 915 engine crankcase pressure switch shown with the crankcase pressure test point. Um, show the tap trip indicator press reset button, electrical connector, crankcase pressure switch, and test point and camshaft gear cover. 916 slack tube manometer test kit part 147x1475 one is a one is a plastic t two is a rubber tubing three sixteenth of the inch inside diameter one and a half inches long three of the rubber tubing three and sixteenth of the inch inside diameter five inches long four is a rubber ball double doubling action 
double acting, five of the rubber, two of them, three sixteenths of an inch long, eight inches long, six of the manometer, twelve inches long. Two is the lower right hand corner, left side with the water tank with a standard temperature gauge normally installed in figure ten four. The crankcase pressure the neck, one side of the slack tube with the manometer with the um, part with the fourteen seven X, fourteen one seven um 14.75 of the crank the convenient convention position shown for the 9, 15 inches will have one of the convention point to the, on the other side, um, while some of them will have both the points. When the engine will be running the mesh for the difference between the level of the two vertical legs of the man, on the man on meter figure 9.16, difference in the level expressed and the inches in water. Oh, inches of water in HEO with the crankcase pressure, the normal crankcase pressure is slightly negative with HEO to very slightly positive by HEO. Note, when the crankcase pressure exceeds plus than 1.9 to 2.1 inch of the HEO, the crankcase overpressure switch should trip and shut down the engine. Figure 19, on uh, figure 917, crankcase pressure switch test kit part 147X1, 1995. Assure that the crankcase pressure switch, the reset button, the plastic vent tip vent hole, the differential pressure gauge, the plastic bottle, hose, and T's. Or your crankcase pressure switch mechanical. You have the test shown in figure 9, 16, and 9, 17. The check of the tripping pressure for the switch. This would be plus 1.9 to 2.1 inches of water. When the engine shut down, the hanging of the tap made on the differential pressure. Give the conventional plate for the clove of the pressure with the switch. From the push on the reset button to pressure of the switch is the reset the normal operation position. Um, when you have the test kit part 147, X1475, the hole of the short, short rubber tubing with the left slightly against the vent hole with the control plate, figure figure 915, slowly work the rubber ball to draw the air from the upper side of the diaphragm. Figure 918, the internal wiring diagram and switch shown in the reset button. The show of the plug connection socket switch with A, B, C, and D and E, F on the parallel circuits. Um, a has a circuit, B has a circuit. B connects to the C circuit after a jump. Um, a and D have a jump. F goes off to L and uh, E goes and, and there's, a, there's a break between E and F. When you're using the test kit part 147 of 1995 with the screw of the plastic valve with the expel with the use of most of the air from within the bottle with insert the plastic of the vent hole control plate figure 917 then allow the plastic bottle to expand and so drawing the air for the air from the upper side of the diaphragm observe the indicate indicate from the manometer the differential pressure gauge of the switch begin the trip if the indication outside of the correcting trip and limit to replace the switch for the new rebuilt switch. Electrical check. The disconnect of the receptacle for the plug um, connected with the switch. The pin for the plug the connector are, are made accessible position. The switch in, the, in both reset and the normal operation position. A normal operation and trip position. Using the test light and on meter check the internal circuitry of the switch. Refer to the figures 9, 18, 9, 19 in table 9, 2. The switch can be tripped and drawing slight vacuum at the vent hole in 915. The receptacle firmly depressing the reset button in 915. All right, table nine two continuity check um, pins condition of the switch in, in position reset and trip D A closed um, preset open tripped B E open um, reset trip closed and B F open reset closed trip if they open check pilot light bulb is on switch. Solar inlet ports. Remove the clap rings on the manifold tube of the manifold bodies and head of the figure 920 with the expo of the solar inlet ports. Figure 921. Note the degree of the carbon buildup in all visible. Our figure 919. Take a local most schematic diagram showing the crankcase pressure and the switch connections. Alright, you have N. Uh, your uh, crankcase overpressures. Um, these two are these. And they have the push button between A and D. And then it has a um, push button between. Um, B and E and uh, um, uh, F and E and they're like um, then you have a heater resistor FB and LCCB um, several different um, figure 920 engine air intake manifold cylinder jacket clamping rings water inlet head over the manifold tube manifold body manifold heat head figure 921 show the cylinder inlet port cylinder head cylinder jacket inlet valve stem our surface of the cylinder jacket cylinder have an inlet valve with the carbon buildup exceed with one eighth of an inch and you have the clean inlet ports of all cylinders engines you have the walnut shell cleaner part one four seven one at one four seven x one five eight nine crankshaft in play when the engine shut down with the crankshaft inspection with the cup of the remove with the use of the magnetic base indicated the part one forty seven one x one two two nine attached magnetic metallic, magnetic base with the mainframe with the position indicator needle against the face of the one with the counterweights with the pry bar move the crankshaft to the extreme forward 
Mirror position, note the total movement of the dial indicator with the crankshaft and play with the thrust clearance. The total clearance exceeds three hundredths of an inch. Renew the thrust collars, crankshaft, and end play must not easily done immediately after shutting engine down. Gear trains front, remove the lube oil fill with the figure nine three with the, uh, the left side with the forward end with the cover of this opening with the cover of the nine twenty three will bearing over the engine visually inspect all the gear excessive wear with the broken teeth overheating discolorization. While lube oil filters removed, check the pump drive with the rubber and bond coupling. See the pump driver coupling section. Figure 922 checking the crankshaft in play of the mainframe dial indicator pry bar, pry bar and crankshaft counterweight. Rear, remove the counter sh cramshaft gear cover the figure 915 from the right side of the left, right, left, rear left side of the mainframe, the opening of the mainframe of the 924 figure with a bearing over the engine visually inspect the gall gear excessive wear of the broken teeth and overheating discolorization. Pump drive gear coupling. Remove the lube oil filter figure 9-3 with the left side with the forward end with the cover of the opening with the cover of the figure 925. Apply the pry bar. Gently rotate the gear on the hub with 1 3 32 to 1 16 of an inch. When reforcing the pry bar, move the gear with a quickly return the original position. Rubber bound the coupling and the tag. Stack on the bright better chain. Check with the required the flashlight with the mirror. Work through opening figure 926 with the forward end with the cover of the view. Figure 923. Checking the front of the gear of the train. Pump drive gear with the opening of the forward end with the cover of the water pump gear. Figure 924, checking the rear gear train, cam, right bank camshaft gear, slip, split crankshaft gear, and the left bank camshaft gear, open and mainframe. Um, rear surface of the gear with the hub of the figure 927, uh, the rubber bound coupling and intact, but it has not been shared with at least one set of the match mark for the figure 928, will be aligned misaligned in any number that indicated the shared coupling, which means it must be replaced. Fuel injection equipped with the engine, idling pop test in each, each injector nozzle um, um, by pulling out the fuel link in Lake and shaft with the figure 9 29 so that it increased the engine and pump with the rack seating of the two three millimeters 930 figure 930 resulting in a higher pitch explosion qualifies pump and nozzle satisfactory low pitch with explosion in this case for all the faulty pump and then nozzle will test and qu also quickly identifies stuck pump pumps fuel linkage the engine shut down remove the clip of the, the, the connect to the bottom of the over rate over speed of the derator to the link of the fuel on um, figure 5 925 checking the integrity of the rubber bound and coupling with the pry bar pry bar bump, drive bar pry bar opening in front of the end of the cover um, with the hand pressure applied with the fuel linkage cover the figure 931 rotate the short lathe shaft with the operating of the fuel linkage to the fuel injection pump rotate the lay shaft with the fuel rack travel to achieve the reverse rotation until the rack stops pins connects contact the face with the calibration screws if the fuel linkage cannot be moved through the complete travel outline with the disconnect the parts of the linkage required as a source of the bondage found with the corrected figure 926 show the checking pumping drive the gear of the matching marks the opening forward end with the cover of the pump mirror and then pumping drive the gear flashlight Figure 927 checking the pump drive gear with a matching mark number that might mirror the rubber bound coupling the pump drive gear and the flashlight. After the fuel linkage has been moved through the complete with the travel to each of the fuel injection pump, the pulling out of the rack of the figure 929 allowing the spring return into the rear and millimeter position. Note that there are no contract racks stay stuck on the maximum fuel position. Number 928, um, figure 928, mark, mark the, match the mark numbers on the back of the frame side with the hub and the gear. The hub and the gear match the, number, match the mark numbers. Figure 929, pop, pop testing identifying good with the bad fuel injection equipment. Um, the pump control pump, per rack, the fuel injection pump, the fuel linkage shaft leaks. When the uh, when engine idle, inspect the engine externally, the system leak loop oil and fuel oil leaks will be evident only in the fil film, only films and flow patterns, cooling water links will be evident with the discoloration due to the water treatment. Exhaust gases caused by the discolored pale paint leave of the carbon fill adjacent to the link. Figure 930, injection pump rack setting um, during pop test. Fuel injection pump, the control rack indicating 8 plus meters, millimeters. And figure 931, manual moving the fuel linkage. Uh, engine governor, governor drive, the fuel linkage layoff and sh sh chalet shaft. Noises, when the engine idling listen with the exercise of the usual, uh, unusual noise that each owner of the exhaust stack of the dish when the detecting the falls with the valve tap the clearance to check of the the defective house. Exhaust valve louder than that normal period I get out of the stack, stack type of the inspection also identify the other engine that that shuts with the bit, pounding such bearings. Exhaust gas, when the engine is idling observe the color with exhaust gas color, clear light, glowing light color, desirable, the blue cast, and blue cast, cast exclusive, lube oil exhaust gas that could result with the form of scored cylinder lines, faulty piscerines, or bad turbocharger bearings and or seals. White cast indicates water exhaust gas, and which probably caused by a defective top liner and cylinder assembly. The white cast could also even be a temporary condition due to the engine running cold. 
adjustment fuel pump rack settings generally the following instruction cover the fuel pump tap rack setting for the 8 12 and 16 cylinder for the section of table number 93 with the 8 not for 8 notches full load of 30.344 inches governor power power piston gap for idle 31 32 of an inch or of one and one thirty-two of an inch power piston gap. The setting given in the table will be given in the approximate horsepower expected for the engine with the precise horsepower output with the Jeep, the by loading the test engine fine adjustment with control racks required. Full fuel header. The rank should, the rack setting valve is given in table nine three or full locomotive as well. Whose full header is pressure is at thirty nine to forty one psi with the engine idle and speed. Our engine type locomotive application high horsepower generator traction number notch en engine speed RPM is number notch tachometer RPMs injection pump size recommended fuel length of the engine and rack settings engine number hot number eight speed setting fuel load zero point three four four inches idle speed thirty one thirty two to one one thirty two of an inch gap. The N um, number nine, figure nine thirty two, corrected method of observing the rack reading the twenty one millimeters reading, showing the calibration screw to twenty one millimeter mark in the control rack. Note the header pressure of the full speed with the full load, with the lower the pressure at idle, with the lower pressure varies with the engine the horsepower, with the output, with the condition of the fuel strain, and fuel filter, fuel transfer pump. All right, the correctly reading the rack setting, the ball was observed with the control rack, the right angle, the direction of the rack, the observed the oblique angle, the will given the airiness air, air, air reading. Rack reading is obtained with the sighting with the eye across the face with the calibration screw headed toward head toward the edge, ill indication of the millimeter on the control rack. Adjusting fuel pump rack with the racks, the racks of the fuel injection pump within the engine of the set be set with the governor pump position gap must be identical limit limit specified in table nine three. But this is also accomplished by the engine shut down one of the following safeguards to prevent cracking with the engine during the adjustment procedure. Block starting contactors opening disconnecting electrical contact with the governor drive shown figure nine three thirty three. Move the bearing over the cover of the governor drive the figure nine thirty three and um, figure nine thirty three show the governor Governor drive mounted on the engine. You have your engine control, Governor uh, overspeed derailleur link light, lube oil supply um, supply pipe. Time timing data play tackle meter drive cover the overspeed Governor um, timing window. The electrical connector Governor's drive um, barrel bear, bearing overdrive bearing over the gear with a with a one inch square drive insert timing window cover bearing over cover over. All right, in general, the governor power system of the fuel linkage um, first must be set to the simulate the notch eight full load condition after which the individual pump rack adjusted for the correct millimeter setting. The check adjusting rack with the following procedure set up the governor power piston fuel injection files. Install the overspeed linking compression part 4147X1580 on the side of the governor drive gear shown in figure 934. Turn the compressor screw, apply with the force again to the bottom of the overspeed derator link the crab press. Link array for the power piston, array for the piston up in, until 0.344 inch compan Gap part 147 to X1296 and firmly firmly clamped in the over the speed radar. Like it's fully compressed, but it will be evident with the top edge of the indicator line with the lower groove of the outer ca casing. Our figure 934 overspeed derailleur link with the engine shutdown racking setting tools um, applied. And control governor the cap with the gauge of the air link and then take a point and fold the oil line with the overspeed governor. Overspeed for derailleur link with the fuel linkage lever, the overspeed governor, the governor drive the overspeed link, compress the overspeed pressure, oil pressure test point. Note, to avoid a physical error of effort with the required for the compressed light link, with remove the oil inlet hose from the link for the supply of the compressed air for the oil, oil, air or hydraulic um, fluid and the max 200 PSI pressure for the oil inlet fitting. The check with the notch 8 with the fuel letting, let, let load setting with the, the pump rack, those racks, which setting the differential with the valve of the table 9-3 with the must be reset with the use of the following methods. If the pump is operated by a nut with lock, nut, lock type um, the adjusting link figure 9-35, using the 2-wrench hold the adjusting nut and loosen the lock nut, turn the Adjusting nuts and length of the shortened length of the racks show the current rack millimeter setting to use the two wrench to hold the adjusting nut and tighten the lock nut. D repeat steps A, B, and C and item A above the all pumps need, needing adjustment. Figure 935 fuel pump rack adjustment nut with lock nut type adjusting link. E. Back off of the compressor screw with a completely removed link compressor gap that you use in the operation. Check all the racks should now be from 0 to 3 millimeters from the correct reading with the engine shutdown condition. Warning. Under no condition should there should the engine be started with the overlink, overspeed link compressor still in the place that could result in destruction of the engine injury to the personnel in the vicinity. 8. Sorry. B. If the pumps are operated with a round kerneled nut type of the adjusting 
testing uh, shown figure 936. 936 shows the fuel pump rack adjustment in the round nut and kernel nut type adjusting like the last screw and the kernel nut and lock round and nut. Figure 937, the fuel lever, the governor drive with the fuel lever, the overspeed governor, the taco drive with the ca cap. Using the lock, um, lock, using the lock screw, the U with the 964th hex or a key wrench back, um, by the hand only, turn the, uh, turn the round the kernel nut, the length lies short and length of the show that the rack show for the correct length of millimeter setting. Turn the lock screw, U the 964 inch hex key wrench, allowing the same instruction given the under the sub DC, DNA of the item A above. Are your fuel linkage? Um, fuel linkage assembly you for the GE the engines are of, in general quite similar to different only the following manner. The quantity of the parts vary with the number of the cylinders length with the fuel level of the figure 937. The fuel level there must be of such a length that it will produce both the maximum horsepower control rack value and the idle speed control rack value with the governor power of the piston moving through the um, uniform length of the travel that this is from the idle position of the power piston gap of 31 32 of an inch, 1 32 of an inch. Full speed, full power position with a gap of 11 32 of an inch. The D, table 9 Three. Give the part number of the center to center length with the full lever recommended to each of the locomotive the application. Full pump timing. Pumping variation. Several types of the fuel injection pump with the U for the GE engine. There is, however, the only one main major difference with respect to the timing. All Bendix pumps and Bosch pumps applied um, prior to the earlier 1978 have the shorter plunger file with the end these pumps correctly timed within the top of the plunger file with the line with the scrub line within the pumping time in the window, figure 938. All right, being in the early 1978, the Bosch pumps were used the longer pump of the follower. The pump is the type of the typical type that's correctly timed when the scribe line on the side of the plunger following the lines of the scribe lines, timing we are 939. It should, not, it should be noted that the plunger file with the later with the Bosch design with a visible, even when the plunger file with the lowest position, there's no true other style of the pump. All right, pump timing. When the timing of the fuel injection pump is necessary to refer to the following indication mark the scrum line with the pumping timing window, figure 938 and 939, these lines are visible after the timing cup of the front of the patch pump with the unclamped um, removal. I think we missed figure 938 correctly, tending Bennett's pump of the Bosch for the short plunger fowler. One would be your um, injection injection pump, two with the plug, plug, plug clamp, clamp bar, three with the timing window, four scribe lines, five plunger fowler, six timing window plug. Figure 939, correctly timed Bosch pump um, pump with longer pump plunger handle. Scribe line with a timing window. Scribe line with a plunger follower. Timing window cover plate. To the degree of the marks follower forward side of the camshaft gear with the figure 940 with the marks for the visible after removing the cover of the forward side of the governor drive with figure 941. To adjust the timing necessary to remove the cover of the wheel, um, seal with the pump, pump tap of the rod with the compartment of the figure 942 with the cover to located in the lower front face for the each of the cylinder engine of the bar, bar, barred over by rotating the bar over the gear over the governor drive with the gear is made accessible by the removing the cover forward side of the governor. Figure 940 with the governor drives over the cover is required removed. Timing window pointer bearing over switch. Timing marks on the camshaft gear. The governor drive bearing over gear with a one inch square drive insert. And then figure 941 assemble the governor drive forward slide, side taco drive meter. Timing window cover locking pin and mount, mounting pin and pin, pin meter bearing over tool bearing over cover. Drive figure 941 after moving the gear gear inward with the equi equipment in the camshaft gear. Apply either the ratchet wrench for the one inch of the square drive of figure 943 or air operated wrench figure 944. Caution, even the impact wrench is not recommended for, the, uh, for this operation since internal damage may result. Caution, incorrect pumping time and it can also be excessive plung plung pump plunging travel which may result in severe damage of the pump. All right, figure 942, pump fuel injection pump and tap the rod adjustment. Tap the adjustment number the 15 16th inch tag cover plate push rod of the umbrella locking nut 1 and 1 16th of an inch head fuel header drain her header. Pumping time in a complex manner outlined below the number 1 right cylinder pump of the 16 cylinder engine. The use an example of a good starting point to use when the all engines are to be timed. Engine pumps are to be timed. Note the tap is setting the inlet exhaust valve of the cylinder of the two. Check with the necessary for the readjustment of the fuel pump cylinder of the being tested. Back off the compression relief of the plug with the one volt turn of on all cylinders. Figure 943 bearing over the engine using the one inch batches wrench. You have the timing nameplate of the governor drive and the one inch ratchet wrench from part 147X 1982. Figure 942-44 bearing over engine U for the Pentatorque air wrench. Air wrench part, um, timing name plate, part, wrench adapter part, governor drive. Note the removal inspection cover to provide clearance of the air wrench. 
I remove the cylinder half cover with the plug with the fuel pump, timing the window with the remove of the cover with the seal pump, with the tap rod with the cover and tap it rod with the you can't near the bottom of the each with the cylinder and four rafts with the wrench or the air operated wrench slowly and bar with the engine oil with the normal other direction rotate from the pointer with the timing the window aligned within three hundred and forty eight point five degrees line with the refer to the figure one and the figure nine forty and nine and nine forty five. For sure, all the valves are closed with the white one right on the first right cylinder compression stroke. With the valves are closed with a small amount of free move, but the will be known manually. Manually, a move with the rock arms. Another check to preserve the radial position. Fuel valves can with the particular cylinder. If the cylinder is on the compression stroke with the valve cross head rollers will be off the lube. On the base of the circle of the cam, this cross headed roller will be rising on the lube on, out of its cam. Note, while the operation is not mandatory, the recommended sense of the show with the integrity of the camshaft the assembly and engine firing order, adjust the fuel pump, tap it on the one on the first right cylinder until the top of the engine for the plunger follower is exactly aligned with the scribe marks on the side of the fuel pump timing of the figure 938 with the scribe line with the fuel low long plunger follower is aligned with the scribe lines on the side of the timing window in figure 939. Seven, uh, figure 945 shows the timing lane plate of the 8 and 12 and 16 cylinder engines. Seven. Lock the tape of the nut with the securely the recheck of the alignment and the proper and proper timing is caution. You have the two wrench while tightening one one sixteenth of the un inch umbrella lock nut one fifteen sixteenth of an inch on the tap of the nut, but the failure to do so will cover the over torquing adjusting the guide nut with the tap of the rod. This will distort and damage the rod and tap of the guide. Further you for further the timing plate the number of the figure nine forty five of the following timing order, give it the name plate with the bar engine with the degree with the value with the timing of the first lapse, fuel pump with the first lapse um, pump um, by performing steps five, six, and seven above. Proceed the next cylinder firing order with repeat until all that have been timed. Be sure the tab of the nut is locked and after before leaving it. Then after all the pumps have been timed and played for the tab of the rod with adjusting of the, of the cover of the cylinder head cover with the fuel pump time and the time of the window is removed the bearing over the tool with the play for the time of the window cover the bearing over the cover with the governor drive the tight and the compression release plugs. Your valve, t your valve tap the clear. The operation the most efficient with accomplished with it done with the conjunction with the fuel pump timing. See fuel pump timing detection. Proper the position of the pump, um, position of the piston of the cylinder. Remove the timing window. Cover the barrier over the cover of the governor. Drive the figure 941. Move the bearing over gear. Inward engagement with the camshaft gear to apply with either one inch ratchet wrench. The figure 943. And, or an air operated wrench. Figure 944. The bearing over the gear with the bearing over the engine. Rotate the camshaft until the correcting 9 degree mark on the cylinder will be worked on is specified of the time name plate figure 945 is exactly in line with the pointer figure 940 check with the both the inlet and exhaust valve that are closed with the indicating the piston of the is on compression stroke Using the standard tool, figure 946 for the special tool, figure 947, the loosening tap lock notes, adjusting tap screws given in the following tab. Um, clearance is inlet valve clearance is 18,000 to 20,000 of an inch, exhaust valve is not 28,000 to 30,000 of an inch. Um, tighten all lock notes 50, 50, uh, 50 to 55 pounds times of torque, re recheck the clearance band bar over the engine, next to the cylinder firing order, adjust the tap is clearance to continue with the procedure, show all valve taps to have been properly adjusted. All right, your loop oil relief valve with the engine shut down and install the 180 pressure PSI gauge in one of the test points with the oil pressure being loop oil pressure oil cooler. We're figuring in the number 10 2 with the, with the engine running in the cool oil loop, loop oil advanced. The throttle is required to note the maximum pressure. Our figure 946 adjusting the valve tab of the clearance using standard tools. Gauge indication with the relief valve setting this should be 135 to 145 psi. To relieve the figure n number 948, remove the hood of the valve with the loose in the pressure screw lock and turn the pressure screw in the clockwise to relieve the operating pressure of the room. The pressure screw out of the counterclockwise to lower the operating pressure. Figure 947 adjusting valve tab of clearance using a special tool part 147.0142. Part figure one, figure nine forty eight loop oil relief valve cutaway valve with the pressure screw, pressure screw hood, lock nut seal, if seal wire, if used, body disc, uh, disc and valve seat. After achieving the correct operating pressure, indicate with the pressure gauge, locate, lock the pressure screw and the lock nut with the place of the hood to shut down the engine and remove the lat test pressure gauge. Fuel oil relief valve. Install the calibrated 100 psi gauge in one of the test boards. Figure 949. Cut off the fuel header with the after leave of the last injection pump. For figure 9101. Three. Start the fuel transfer pump to deliver the test pressure gauge, which should be indicated 74 to 76 psi volts. Psi voltage battery during the test should be approximately 64 volts. Caution: Do not start or run the engine for for this test. 
Our figure 949 show the fuel oil relief valve regulating valve starting with test port 3 8 of an inch NPT port, inlet port, test port 1 half inch NPT, O-ring, plunger outlet port, body, O-ring, cartridge, lock nut, and adjusting screw. To correct the valve setting with the loosening of the adjusting nut with the return of the adjusting screw and with the raise of the pressure of the turn of the screw out to lower the pressure, tighten the lock nut, check the gauge reading of the stop, the fuel transfer pump, six, remove the test gauge, restore the piping, the normal fuel oil regulating valve, and install the calibrated 100 psi gate pressure gauge at the test port, figure 949. Note, be sure that the fuel strainer element has been cleaned with the new element has been installed with the filter housing, start the fuel transfer pump, the engine, when the engine operating idle speed, read the pressure within the cave of the test gauge, it should read approximately 38 to 42 psi. Loosen the Adjusting lock nut, adjust the screw with the set with the pressure of the turn the screw in and ready for the pressure out with the low pressure. Tighten the adjusting lock nut, check the gauge reading. Stop the engine with the fuel transfer pump. To remove the test gauge from play for the pipe gauge. Replacement fuel oil filter. The fuel filter assembly consists of the steel with hydrogen, um, can housing. A filter element can connect with the fuel transfer pump with the discharge opening. Gradual drop of the fuel fill over the head of pressure would indicate the fuel strain fuel filter can become restricted. It should be either cleaned or replaced respectively. One shut the engine down, fuel the transfer pump, and then the fuel transfer pump partially oil. Open the filter cover to open the spring load with the valve underneath the fuel the tank, filter tank. Hold open one minute. Fuel the in the in the, in the filter cover to drain back the fuel in the main tank. Remove the filter cover to remove the disc cover. The U for the filter element. U for the filter tank with the clean fuel oil engine. Again, oil. Hold the drain valve open while the end um, until the tank is empty with the blow dryer with the shut off um, shop air. Warning, personal injury may result with a proper eye detection. It's not warned with the blowing over the compressed air. Wipe small amount with a clean and lube oil with the oil ring on the end with the new GE Part 134, sorry, 132X1250 1, 12, fuel and, and filter and element and solve the element. Close the seal and lay with the filter housing. Apply with the new oil, oil ring ga cover gasket. If necessary, make sure the drain valve is clo fully closed. Start the fuel transfer pump when the engine fuel pressure gauge is raised to approximately 40 psi starting the engine. Insert the entire fuel system from the engine link for any leaks that may, may in conditions as necessary. Figure 950. The typical fuel drain valve arrangement. Spring-loaded fuel drain valve. Fuel oil strainer. When the fuel oil filter replaced with the fuel oil strainer should be inspected clean. But beginning with the 1978, some of the strainers have the coarser mesh strainer element which installed the fuel system. Done to keep the strain with the waxing over the during cold weather operation can be um, regarded and thrown away part. Maybe uh, um, of course be clean. The desired the element will be fit in either the bottom or bottom opening top opening strainer housing. New coarse mesh strainer, older fine mesh strainer. Figure 9, 951 type of strainer elements. Changing elements. Remove the drain plank with the strainer housing with the drain. It um, loosen the wing nut for the strain co strainer cover. The ram remove the uh, strainer elements if the sump type of the strainer. Remove the two bolts. Remove the sump drain. And drain it. Flush the element with clean solution. Blow dry with the clean air. The element of the coarse screen screen type of the flush with the oil, petroleum solvent, and corrosive kerosene. Diesel fuel. Do not use chl the chlorinated hydrocarbons or the calcitic uh, solutions. Discard the rubber seal. Measure damage. If measure damage. A warning, when using compressed air with the cleaning of the purpose of environmental potential, has the personnel with immediate air with created with the prevent the physical energy flying debris observed the railroad and government safety regulations. For flush out all the strainer housing, housing with a clean fuel, fuel oil and blow it dry with a clean air. Inspect the cover of the oil ring with a rubber grommet with a fine mesh stripe of the strain with either the item of the damage and install the new one. Replace the clean element. Place the drain plug and if the one over that type of fill, the strainer shall be clean with the fuel oil. Eight, replace the strainer with the cover of the time and the cover with the wing nuts evenly, carefully, and some of the type of the reassemble the shell at the top of the cover. Lube oil filter elements. Lube oil filter elements must be replaced from the periodically plan schedule the pressure of the tap across the filter too high with the value. Water and lube oil system permanently affect the performance filter elements of the leaking lube oil. If the engine cylinder is changed, the lube oil filter should be changed. Changing elements, remove the vent plug, figure 954, open the filter, drain back valve, figure 956, drain the filter case. And figure nine, the fifty-two details some type, some type of the strainers and fine mesh element. Top of the cover, the gr rubber grommet, O-ring, fine mesh element, and shell. Figure nine, the fifty-three cutaway coarse mesh element, the face seal, and center tube. Cover the drain back valve, loosen the filter um, cover caps, open the hinge cover, remove the wing nuts and element, hold down plates, inspect the elements for article um, before discarding. Figure nine, fifty-four, shove blue oil filter, drain pan, drip pan, vent plug, cover the filter case. Um, Figure 955, 955, show the renewing filter elements, filter cover, gasket, filter case, hold down plate, filter element. 
Five, wipe the inside of the case clean. Six, install the new filter on the figure 955. No, it does not. Do not use cotton wet, wet waste filters. Install the element hold down plate with the tighten the wing nuts and hand tighten and only be sure all the elements are properly seated in its clamp. Then inspect the filter, cover the gasket with the plate with the necessary clove of the filter, cover the tighten the clamp bolts and the evenly place the tighten vent plug, fuel injection nozzle. Removal. The removal of the cylinder head cover to check the high pressure for the tip of the rush burst, burst, burst with flat fuel oil the vent but before disconnecting, remove the high pressure line between the pump and the nozzle to cover the oil opening thread and plastic cap. Remove the tube nozzle to screw the nozzle cap. Remove the fuel injector nozzle from the cylinder head. Use an acro part 147X1856. Facility removal of the figure 957. Figure 956 show that the lube oil pipe dry gram valve A, valve A is a crankcase drain, valve B is a filter cooler drain, oil drain line, line valve A and valve B crankcase drain, filter oil cooler drain, um, lube oil relief valve, uh, lube oil pump, water pump, blow down, blow down pipe vent vent, filter, ho filter housing oil cooler. Or caution, handle the fuel injection now with the care of the take of the me um, measure to prevent the dirt from entering the nozzle. Do not bump the tip of the plate for the protective plastic cap with the plug over the connection to provide the protective cover over the tip of the return. The injector prepare protected in the same manner as new nozzles are received. Insulation, if the difficulty the encounter with the removal of the fuel injector nozzle from the cylinder, if the nozzle reset for the cylinder head is probably encumbered with a carbon scale with etc. that must be claimed that the insole along the new nozzle that must be done with the following manner. Using one inch diameter of the cup of the wire brush or 20, 200, um, 200 of the inch diameter of wire with a 15 inch to extension drive with a portable power drill. The entire length of the recess show, should be claimed by the set. See, particular importance. If necessary, the claim of the recess with the, with the cylinder engine will be sure of the valve of the clothes with the cylinder head covered plate. Apply air pressure through the compression release oil flow dirt up through the recess instead of allowing it to fall down on the face fit and into the cylinder into the cylinder place a new copper gasket and a small end of the nozzle small amount of the grease can be used to hold the gasket in place. Figure 957. The knocker you remove the injector from the cylinder, insert the small end of the nozzle with the reset for the port with the orient fuel drain and the plate for the cover over the nozzle studs. Apply the self-locking nuts, tighten them to 30 to 35 pounds of foot torque. Caution proper tightening the nozzle, nozzle clamp, but the must be important but not, not tight enough to exhaust, uh, that the exhaust gases will cover the carbon buildup between the fuel injector nozzle. Recess the cut, using the nozzle to be bound in play for the clamp nuts or the tighten successfully. Parts um, of the nozzle assembly will become distorted, cause the nozzle valve to leak. Such so tightening of these nuts can also cause the cracks to develop in between the nozzle recess the valve seat with the board with the cylinder head. In extreme cases, it can result with the unseating of the exhaust from the inlet valves. R5, remove the protective cap at the end of the high pressure line with the pump of the nozzle for the connection to apply with the high pressure line with the tighten the nuts through 140 to 150 pounds of torque. And sure, uh, sure, sure that no dust getting it into the connection check with leaks and the, these two points of the engine started. Figure 9, 58, show the tightening of the high pressure line nuts. Um, all right, fuel injection pump. Remove with the figure 959. Um, remove the cylinder head, 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 head cover. Remove the fulcrum cover. Remove the adjustable link with the connect the pump rack to the bell crank. Connect, clean the high pressure line with a stiff brushable brush. Fuel oil before disconnecting. Remove the high pressure line between the high pump, um, the high pump with the injector clean over the, all the opening for the thread and plastic cover the disconnect of the test connection between the fuel and header line with the pump with the pump with the cover of the TV connection after the hot fuel has been drained with the header reply with the plastic plug with the inlet cover the connection over the, over the, over the pump. Now caution, be careful not to damage the pump with the control rack while loosening mold mounting bolts. Six, remove the mounting bolts at the base of the pump using the special wrench GE part 147X2021, 147X1497, 2, uh, nine, figure 960. Move the pump from the engine to cover the areas where the pump was removed to prevent the form manner from entering the engine unless the spare part, spare pump is installed immediately. Figure 959 upper cylinder details 1 cylinder head cover 2 fuel injector 2 3 fuel injector clamp 4 clamp, co cover clamp 4 5 compression release 6 fuel header line T 7 T connection 8 adjusting link 9 fulcrum nut 10 bell crank 11 fuel injection pump 12 high pressure line Hard right, insulation. Before installing the pump on the engine, shorten the tamp at the rod length with the remove of the cover at the bottom of the cylinder. Figure 961. Loosen the lock on the tap of the nut. The using the two open and the wrench is the figure 15 of the inch, 1 and 1 of the inch. Tap the adjust the nuts for the full 4 or 5 full turns clockwise. And except the tap at rod travel can damage the pump and tap and rod assembly. Note when installing a pump carefully that no dirt in the form matter enters the fuel line or along with the engine to keep the plugs and seal the place until the engine connections are to be made. 
Figure an N960 tighten the bolt, um, tightening inspection pump with the mounting bolts. Install the pump cylinder with the use of the new O rings around the base and tighten with the mounting bolt with the 40 to 50 pounds of torque. Then use the special run G part 147 the X2 and 21, 147, 149, uh, and 72, and Figure 960. Our torque, the 155 16th of an inch hex adapter, fitting of the 9 to 100 foot pound of torque, connect the tube with the fuel header with adapter, fitting of the replace the dam, mid fee roll, and ferro roll. As the required torque of the 1 inch of the hex down with the 40 to 45 pound foot pound times, note the end of the fuel jumper to hold it should be torque of 30 to 35 pounds, note do not over tighten. Figure 961 fuel injection pump tap of the rod adjustment. The water inlet head of the fuel linkage sh uh, sh linkage delay shaft the push rod tap of adjusting nut 1516th of an inch hex nine umbrella lock nut one one sixteenth of an inch hex nine fuel drain head fl flange. Check the high pressure between the pump and the injector to tighten the bolt with 140 to 150 pounds of torque. Give the special wrench GE part. Inspect the adjusting between the pump rack with the bell rack. Secure the fulcrum nut with the torque with the 30 to 35 foot pounds of torque. The pump rack setting the adjust for the required with the refer to the adjustment section. Set the pump timing. The refer to the adjustment section. Play with the cylinder head cover with the water pump. Figure 962 water pump. Remove the drain the lube oil from the front end of the cover C section 10 with the lubricating oil system. Drain the water system section 10 cooling water system. Remove the pipe flange bolts and Loosen the inlet pipe of the dressing coupling slide, the coupling pipe of the clear joint. Remove the pump inlet, dis inlet and discharge pipes. Mount the suitable, suitable lifting ho hoist over the pump and then attach with the pumping lifting eye bolt. Remove the pumping nut bolt mounting bolts and set the jack bolts and threads in the flange evenly uh, jack the pump and the rabbit fit. No insulation. If the gear is being replaced, thoroughly clean the tap of the fill, fit, fit is to make sure the large fill of the washer between the draw gear and the draw gear is assembled. The champ of the torque of the gear with the torque of the nut is 200 to 220 pounds of torque. Then install the new torque counter pit. Pin. Install the pump and use the new gasket properly align the drive gear for um, teeth with the pump to read register fit insulation pump by um, bolts of fit and finger tight carefully. Caution care must be taken to ensure the pipe of the flange alignment is correct, otherwise, pump of the casing will be distorted and broken. To assemble the cast discharge pipe, the use of the new gasket assemble the discharge elbow with the pumping mold that mount both figure tight finger tight the fist, then nut slug nuts then snug all the bolts lightly and finally tighten them securely. Three reassemble the inlet pipe of the use of the new gasket before bearing over the engine of the fill of the water system to the proper level to add treatment to add the lubricating oil of the crankcase at the pump proper level. You know, a small amount of the water seal seal leakage may be the note of the newly installed pump. However, the after the shortening period of the operation, the water seal should be become seated and stopping oil leakage. Lubricating oil pump removal the drain oil can create a front end to the cover of the oil cooler filler C section ten lubricating oil section disconnect the discharge pump install three quarter inch ten lifting eye bolt into the pump casing when attached to the crane hook to support pump weight lift remove the pump from the engine all right that takes care of the first section of nine of section nine diesel engine instructions